This video will help you assemble your new Bee Explorer or Bee Adventure e-bike. Since both bikes have similar construction, this video can help you with both bikes. With a helper, carefully lift the bike out of the box. Don't forget to take out the small box, which includes the user manual, assembly tools, charger, and pedals. Use a scissors or box cutter to remove the zip ties on the bike. Put the front wheel on the side. Remove the packing material and recycle it according to your local rules. To install the handlebars, first remove the four bolts from the stem with a 4mm Allen wrench. Orient the handlebars with the brake handle facing forward. Use your hand to tighten the nut on the quick release skewer. Thread in the four face plate bolts by hand and then tighten these bolts. You can use an electric screwdriver to make the assembly go faster. To install the front wheel, first remove the safety cover from both sides of the wheel. Remove the protective materials. Find the quick release skewer. Remove the nut and cone spring on the opposite side of the lever. Pass the skewer through the hub from the brake disc side of the wheel. Reinstall the cone spring and the nut on the other side. Leave enough room for the fork dropout and make sure the lever is open. Lower the fork onto the wheel. Be careful here. The brake disc should go into the brake caliper in between the brake pads. Use your hand to tighten the nut on the quick release skewer. Lock the quick release lever. Adjust the upper and lower handlebar stem clamp bolts with a 4mm Allen wrench and stem cap bolts with a 5mm Allen wrench to make sure the stem is parallel with the front wheel. Remove the nut and bolts from the center of the fork arch. Pass the bolt through the headlight mount and fork arch. Pass the front fender from the back of the front wheel forward and pass the bolt through the fender mounting point. Then tighten the bolt and nut with a 5mm Allen wrench and a 10mm Allen wrench. Use a 4mm Allen wrench to remove the two bolts on the back side of the fork. Install the two leg mounts of the front fenders on the fork. To install the pedals, make sure the pedal with the WR marking on the axle is the right side pedal and WL is the left pedal. Turn the right pedal clockwise and the left pedal counterclockwise to thread them into the crank. Use a 15 millimeter wrench to tighten the pedals. Remove the four bolts on the rear part of the frame and install the rear rack with a four millimeter Allen wrench. To adjust the height of the seat, unlock the lever and raise or lower the seat to the desired height. Make sure you don't adjust the seat higher than the safety line indicated on the seat post. Lock the lever. Use the key to install and remove the battery on the bike. When you install the battery, you have to install it from the lower side first and then slide in the upper side. When you remove the battery, always make sure you slide it out from the upper side. You can check the battery capacity by pressing the button on the top of the battery. Inflate the tires to between 15 and 20 PSI. Check everything on the bike to make sure they're working properly. Now you're all set. Enjoy the ride!